right, I do have something to talk about before my ride today. Take it or leave it. For style points on my head, well aware that I need a haircut, but I'm going to show you something and it's a multi-layered product overview, let's call it. Not necessarily a product review because I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about and we'll get the show underway. One, two, three. This is what I'm going to talk to you about today. They are a new style of sunglasses as far as I'm concerned. The way that it worked for me is that I was walking in a mall, which I don't do very often. I looked into an optometrist. I said to my wife, hey, there's an Oakley stand in there. I'm just going to check out if there's anything new. These are new in my appraisal. For someone who doesn't like shopping, for someone who only goes to the mall and it's absolutely necessary, I thought I'll just jump in and see if they suit my head. And I, I don't think they look too bad, just even without a helmet, even though they are sort of, let's call it sporting eyewear. They've got the prism lens, which it says somewhere down here. I think it's this one. I can't see it. As I looked at the camera and I have to sort of swirl my eyes around like this, I'm, I'll take them off. As I do that, I can sense the frames, but I can tell you something, something else. They're bloody comfortable and they stay on your face. From where I sit and from behind these lenses, everything looks pretty bloody good. Prism lenses, very good. Curiously, on the website it says, not suitable for driving. I'm going to look into that and I'll explain more just to um, give you a closer look. That's what they look like. And just for the record, this is a, uh, a flexi nose. So although it looks like it's uh, seamlessly integrated with the frame, it's that, um, that rubbery stuff that we know from Oakley. Also, the arms have that rubbery stuff on the inside, but not on the outside. And what caught my attention when I was uh, on this one day in the mall that I was trying to get away from very quickly is that the arms are very, very similar to the Oakley Sutros that I've worn on and off for a couple of years now, and I've very much liked. There's a couple of different versions of the Oakley Sutro. I'll try and get this quick, but uh, I'll just go over some things. So, Arms similar to Oakley Sutro. Why is that relevant? Well, they match helmet straps and helmets very well. There's a couple of different shapes of those, and this is uh, my go-to pair. I think it's the Sutro S, which means small. And they have been fantastic, and they're great for this reason. I'll show you. This is why I think they're good, and what I look for in a pair of cycling sunglasses. So, arms over the straps. Great straps on the cask because they slide down your face and they don't sort of flap in the wind at all. And the arms just tip, dip neatly. The arms dip neatly into the helmet straps. Isn't that great? And then, you know, for let's say the pre-dawn when you're setting off to meet your mates, they work there. I have pulled these glasses out of here and the arm has come off but um, neither here nor there because it just clicks back into place. But that's a combo that I've really taken to of the, you know, of late. Given that I made the observation that the arms were similar, I'll show you some other close-ups maybe, but that's how they look. This is the small, and this is the portal, the new one. So just once again, new. One lens, two lens. Old, one replaceable lens. And you can just pick your colour and keep your frames. And they, they switch in and out very, very easily if you haven't used them and you're interested in them. Highly, highly, highly recommended. On that, he says, going delving into his drawer. These are also Sutro, but these are Sutro Light, drilled for lightness. And in, um, let's call them Jonas Vingegaard colours. Tour de France branding and those arms that I have talked about and explained that are highly suitable for the old helmet combo. Boom. They fit easily as well into the cask. Uh, I've forgotten the name of this one, whatever it's called. And you know they're there because you can just feel them slightly on your head and everything's tickety boo. Everything's great. So. That's those. Here's another pair of Sutro lights. In other words, the frameless ones. And those lenses, these lenses are interchangeable 
with these. You're getting all of that. Then, finally, just on the Oakley uh, theme, these are the Sutro usuals, normals, not the smalls, not the juniors. So they're the Sutro. These are the junior, or what I think are the small Sutro. And you can see the difference in sizing. From my understanding and from the way that I read it, these are roughly the same width as these. Okay, you're getting all of that, does that make sense? Right, so stop looking like a goose with a couple of pairs of sunglasses on the head. Upside down, into the helmet, a little bit of a squeeze. So I'm going to opt for a different helmet for my first ride with the new Oakley Portals. I could use this one, which is a helmet that I've actually had for a little while and I very much like, because it actually to be honest, it really does feel quite aerodynamically efficient. I'm honest to God, like I, I sincerely believe that. I have to show you the first video that I had, uh, that I've made while wearing this. And uh, I just haven't gotten around to editing and, uh, and posting, but I've said that I love it. But what I don't like is this. See the difference? See how there's that gap? But then matched with these, and the strapping doesn't seem so um, flappy. Does that make sense? Now, these, like a dream. You can feel them on your, on your temples, the arms, so you know they're there and they haven't fallen off and you have, don't have to ride back and grab them off the road. Upside down, much better. This is the point I'm trying to make with this little uh, piece to camera before I go for my ride on a Tuesday morning. When you're buying your sunglasses or your helmet, you want to know that the other elements combine like nice and neatly. I think that is a winning combo. So the Bond Tracker, or rather the Trek helmet, the uh, Ballista, made famous, I think, by Mads Pedersen, highly, highly suitable for the new Oakley portals. Cask Protoni, probably, yeah, actually it is my favorite helmet at the time, but at the moment, because summer's coming, the ventilation is good. The fit is great. It's not a big bulbous helmet in my appraisal. It suits the old school. In other words, my old favorites very well, I think, in every which way. And it depends on where you jam them, but they, that can go any which way. That can go in there on the outside or on the inside because they're the smaller frames. 132 mil width, from my understanding. These ones, similar width, and that's how they look with that helmet. And I think that's the combo I'm gonna go with today. Very secure, probably a little bit too high up. So I just put it to the outside vents. And again, I know they're not lying on the road because I can feel them slightly on my head. If all that makes sense, that's good because then you probably sort of um, do your sunglass and helmet fitting uh, in, in a similar way to what I do. And uh, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's just how, how it is for me. So that's um, how that all looks. Now, I think that there's very little, let's say, visual interference with these glasses. Like, I really have to roll my eyes to see the frame. The lenses are crystal clear and, um, of course, there's uh, the usual array of Oakley lens options so that you can uh, pick some that suit your environment. I need to check out if these lenses can be pulled out and replaced. I've done it many, many times with the Sutro, but I don't know about the portals. Anyway, these lenses are replaceable. It's simply a matter of flipping the corner out there, flipping that corner out there, and then you just surprise it off the uh, off the nose and there's the lens. And they go back in the same way. So now that the, my greasy mitts have been all over them, I can just show you quickly how they come together. Potentially, yeah, think, think, and think. So that's all back into, into action, ready to go, ready to be cleaned. So as I always do, I carry my handy Oakley sunglass wiper with me and very, very impromptu uh, cleansing. That's how they look with the lenses that had been removed only moments ago and now back in the sunglasses, but they are a bit wider. 
and uh, I, I rode with these last week and I sort of thought, hmm, they're sticking out a lot from my face. And for that reason, I like these. But today, whew, I'm going with these. And I think it matches that Rocket Espresso uh, jersey by Quarry very neatly. What do you think? Okay, that's a long pieced camera about a new pair of sunnies. Oakley Portals, they're about 300 bucks, so they're not cheap. If you like them, go and have a look in the mall and probably get the hell out of there quickly and get on the bike because malls are horrible places. At least that's my appraisal. Okay, I'll talk to you from the bike. See ya. Bye.